All right, so my favorite video to record every single or every other Sunday on the channel is the best card in every single position. As you guys know, I take an empty lineup and yeah, straightforward. I fill it with the best card in every position. But if you enjoy videos like this, I do top 10s as well. And I do gameplays on all the brand new cards. Make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're on that push for 40,000 subscribers. But other than that, let's get right into this video, man. If you were looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EZMA, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. All right, so jumping straight into it, the offensive line is very straightforward right now. There's not really many conversations to be had there. You kind of just want to take the highest overall. I think the one as at the left tackle is the only one where you're kind of like a little tricky because we have 389s here. But as you guys know, the AKA offensive linemen do give a boost to a lot of players on your team. I can't remember exactly which sweet feet boost, but I know, actually, I remember he's the the one who gets my running back to go overall uh up and overall in that blue overall if that makes sense so i always like to go with the aka offensive lineman even if the stats are a little bit off i think it's a big deal or not i mean not a big deal but you know what i mean might as well boost your team if you can moving over now this is where it gets a little bit more straightforward right these guys you just want to take the highest overall if you're spending all the best you want across the board you got cody white here we got marquis pouncy brand new most feared offensive lineman the right guard is actually the lowest overall in david DeCastro, castro and we just got brand new yesterday Lincoln Kennedy, the right tackle. Look at the offensive line. So you have a very, very good offensive line across the board. I also think that David DeCastro gets boosted up to a 90 as well. If you want to go ahead and put our guy country strong as a backup, I think most people should do that. I currently still have him as a backup. I hate spending that much on a backup, but he still will boost overall players on your team. So that is very nice to see. And then to finish off the top row, we kind of flew through this part of the video. The top row, the tight end one, we all know who it is. If you're running him at wider receiver though say if you're running him at wide receiver like a lot of people do you could go ahead and go with like george kittle here or even like the free travis kelsey the duke is still amazing but for the video purposes i want to keep it straightforward there's no competition right now kyle pitts is the obvious best tight end in the game now we get into the skill positions on the bottom row here we have three wide receivers a running back and obviously a quarterback and the fullback yes we're not gonna forget about him but the wide receivers are very 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 good in this game i will say the unstoppable dk metcalf is who i'm gonna lean at number one right here though you're obviously getting a six foot three 90 base speed wide receiver in dk but this is where it gets tricky i think there are so many guys you can go with tory holt is amazing i even think dj Moore at 89 speed is very good you obviously got your tall guys and guys like mike evans and calvin johnson I don't think there's a wrong answer. Let me just say that. I think Tyree Kill is still amazing, too, if you wanted to use him. For me right now, what I'm currently using, I'm actually using Pitts at wide receiver. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that. Just because wide receiver is a little weird right now, I think I'm going to actually fix this up a little bit and low-key throw Kittle right here. Move Kyle Pitts down because I, I think I would rather have Kittle here then than one of like a weaker third wide receiver, if that makes sense. And then honestly, for wide receiver three, you can literally go with anybody here. I think you can go with DJ Moore, Torrey Holt, Tyree Kill, Calvin. Go with who you want right there. I guess I'll lean Torrey Holt just because, but I don't think wide receiver three is like a must, like where you have to have a certain guy right there, if I'm getting completely honest with you guys. But now we move over to halfback where... This one is, I think, between two different people right here. I like Walter Payton a lot. Obviously, Bo Jackson still a go. But I do think it's between these two guys. I love CMC's animations. He gets the best animations in the game. He's also very, like, skinny in-game. So he's fitting through a lot of holes. He's not getting touched at the line of scrimmage a lot. But you are getting a Marshawn Lynch right here. He has 90 uh, break tackle, 89 trucking. His catching as well. I know the catching is, like, a big thing I used to look, like, uh, uh, look at in the past. But gift wrap being in the game, everybody should have gift wrap on their quarterback. It basically makes a guy like Marshawn Lynch turn Turn into CMC. You can even go watch the Marshawn Lynch gameplay we had. He had many contested catches. I feel like I want to go with Marshawn here, but I wouldn't fault you if you went with somebody else. I think running back kind of depends on your play style. But quarterback, we just did our top 10 quarterback video yesterday. We're going to lock in our guy, Joe Montana, right now. He's actually literally being used by almost every MCS player, every pro right now. I think Howard Master is just way too broken for 3 AP. And then you can get Gunslinger and Gift Wrap for a total of 6 AP. That's all the abilities you need. He has it all in one place. Joe Montana, I got to lock him in right here. And then to finish off the offense, obviously we're going to go with that X-Factor, or not the X-Factor, the AKA, I guess you could say X-Factor too. Mike Alstott, A-Train, whatever you want to call him, man. 
That's what I think the best card in every position on offense looks like. All right, so the top row on defense, as you guys know, I do give you guys two free safeties and two strong safeties, only because I know some people use their team in different ways. A lot of people like to have depth at their DB position in general. So we're going to start with free safety, where we do have a guy that I believe to be top one. Also, I feel like free safety is one of the weaker positions in the game. Right now, Paul Krause kind of steps above all these other guys. You can see Sean Taylor came out, what, like over a month ago. Jesse Bates, the same exact thing, too. They both came out like at the exact same time. Time. so paul kraus is just basically by himself up here i almost don't want to put anybody here just because how weak it is i guess i'll go sean taylor but yeah we need some more depth over here man we need another free safety in the game brian dawkins i don't know i don't know who i want over there but give us somebody ea that's all i'm asking for now we move to right outside linebacker where we actually have a micah who i think is the best in the game but i can't put him here yet because he is not obtainable you can literally not get him yet even with the XP glitch that happened last week, you could still not even get him. I got to go with my guy, Khalil Mack, man. When you look at him compared to other guys, he still looks very, very good across the board. I think LT is still really good. I think the free Mike is still amazing, but I've seen this Khalil Mack absolutely wreak havoc against me and also for me online head-to-head. -head. And then middle linebacker. Usually in these videos, we'd be like, ah, who cares? Middle linebacker sucks. They, who really cares, right? Just put anybody there, skip past it. As you guys know, with the recent patch, they buffed linebackers so nicely. There's a ability called Lurk Artist now. It's basically Pick Artist and Lurker in one, and it's one AP. So these guys are very valuable. And as you guys know, yesterday, Patrick Willis came out, man. 89 speed. He is as fast as like almost every safe. I think actually there is no safety that's 90 speed. So he is faster or is as fast as every user in the game right now. And he gets Lurk Artist. And he has like 90 blocks and like 90 hit power. He's probably the best user in the game. But as you can see, 1.53 million. Yeah, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that. But if you got it like that, you got it like that. And then linebacker too, although Terrell Bernard's really good. I He's like the only other one I think that gets that ability, right? Besides like maybe somebody lower, Terrell Bernard. We got to go with Ray Lewis though, man. 87 speed, obviously a lackluster card compared to Patrick Willis, but they're still both very good if you want to go the linebacker route out there. And then left outside linebacker, Judon. As honestly, his stats don't look very good, 75 block shit, but he's actually been balling for me in game. Shaq Barrett's decent, Dino Hunter's decent, but you guys know the ultimate glitch right now in the game. He also gets that lurk artist. He is still arguably a better user than Patrick Willis because he is 88 speed, so you're losing a speed, but you are getting a six foot three user with lurk artist and gets 90 man and 90 zone, where Patrick Willis only gets 60 man coverage. You might want to go with Dave Robinson there. He's all, I might be picking him up, man. 650K, that might be a pickup for my squad as well. Honestly, now that Patrick Willis kicked, uh, killed his price out there. Still an amazing card. I got to lock him in. And now we're going to give you two strong safeties. Although we got a Buda Baker, I don't think he's like top tier if you're, unless you're like on a most feared theme team. Uh, him and Troy Polamalu are basically almost the exact same card as well when you compare them back and forth. But honestly, the top two safeties in the game right now, I feel like I got... Derwin's definitely number one. Curse, you can't get him yet, so I'm not going to count him. I think it comes down to these two right here. And I feel like I almost... Although you'll see, you're seeing a lot of greens right there for Buddha, I do think valuing also having 90 man and 90 zone on both of them for Troy P is a little bit more valuable so i think i'm going to lean troy right there if you're rocking no theme team but if you are in most feared obviously get buddha cornerback has been a very lackluster position in the game they haven't given us a lot of upgrades until as of late the last like two or three days is when we started getting a little bit more upgrades but the one thing they've been doing to us is giving us very short corners so quarterback one and two right now the only two guys that are above 90 speed are darrell revis and avante maddox they've given us 5 11 and 5 foot 9 corners they still are the best on paper obviously you can still get dunked on but at least these guys will be hip to hip with most of the wide receivers in the game the wide receivers are awesome as we showed you earlier like Tyree Kill we got like weeks ago and he is like literally the same speed as a lot of these guys so you know we're finally catching up in speed over here but cornerback three I think you can go with whatever your play style is Charles Woodson's still amazing we got fruit punch in the game as well I think go with either or but I feel like I'm gonna go Woodson right now I, we need more corners, man. I, I mean, we really do. 88 speed Woodson still up here. I think Cromartie's still amazing, comparative to a lot of the corners in the game. But Woodson getting 90 man, 90 zone, 88 speed, six foot one. Got to go with corner three. But we need another upgrade, man. Keep giving us DBs, man. Bless the defense, EA. That's all we want right now in the game. And to finish it off, we have the defensive line. And right end is tough. I will say. I, like Trey Hendrickson, they did cheat him. 74 block shed, you know, not the best card in the world. These two are absolute 
gods in this game. Let me say I've used them both. They are both really good, but I'm not going to lie. I feel like I am going to end up selling Von Miller on my team and going back to Miles. You can see he is only one speed slower. He's 20 pounds heavier, so he has a bigger player model in game. He also does have 90 block shit compared to Von's 87. The power moves a 91 compared to Von's 85. And then obviously the finesse is a little bit lower on Miles, but the bigger body, only minus one speed. I feel like Miles has played a lot better and he also can play really well with the tank if you want to move him over in a four down lineman set. I think you can go with Vaughn there, but I think Va uh, Miles has been an absolute demon for me. Obviously, I've been killed by him too online, head and head, head, head. But moving over to D-Tackle, we have a lot of them now. We've just got three 90s. We barely have any 90s in the game, and three of them are D-Tackles, which is kind of crazy. But John Randall, compared to these guys, you can see he's much faster, right? 81 speed. The Excel is still decent compared to Grave Digger's 92, which is insane. But you can see he has 92 block shed, 90 power move, and an 89 finesse move. So very good stats across the board. Quinnen's still really good, but John Randall's a different breed right now in the game. If I had to go number two, I'd probably go Grave Digger right here. I think you can go with any of those 390s, though. They're all amazing at the end of the day. And that left end, this is another weak position. Just like free safety, there's only really one guy you want to use. Jared Allen, although he's been kind of just meh for me, Look how much better he is than literally everybody else. Yeah, it's it's not even close, man. The left end is a lock in Jared Allen. That's what I would say is the best card in every position, what it looks like on defense. You can switch it up a little bit, but I think that's kind of the main focus there. Hey boys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment down below which players are you using on your team. Which guys would you swap in and out on this list? I know it's a little bit hard because everybody has different play styles, especially for like corners and obviously like wide receivers slash running backs, whatever you tr truly like and it's working for you. Don't make this video sway you away from that. If you're winning games, stick with what you got, man. If it's broke, do not fix it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it can point you guys in a little bit of a direction, but I hope to see you guys in the next one. We got some AKA gameplays tomorrow and I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.